The Seahawks versus the Broncos. Natural business, football business. Putting all seriousness glasses set aside. In this video, I'll be going over the Seahawks versus the Broncos. If you guys are Seahawks fans, you can just do this side, or if you're Broncos fans, you can just do this side. I'll also be putting the time for the second half of this tutorial and the annotations right here so you don't have to watch the other team. Team rivalry. And essentially, you can really do this with any team you want. As you guys know, I use Paradise Paints for my face paint, but because it's getting so close to the Super Bowl, you probably won't have time to order them online, so you can go to their website and actually go to their store locator, because you can eat, you can talk, you can move around, and you're going to be fine. As always, all the products that you say are listed somewhere around the video, and don't forget to go to Facebook and check out my page, Made You Look by Lex, and like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, prepare to be tackled. We're going to start off by painting our face with light blue paradise paint using the Made You Look foundation brush. Leave open your eye and mouth area. You want to leave enough room for the Seahawk and also enough room for your girl mouth later on. To give yourself a little bit of a girl eyebrow right now, use dark blue paradise paint and the Made You Look detail brush to draw a curve above your eyebrow. Also make a squish loop around your mouth. I'm going to be drawing the outline of the Seahawk using dark blue paradise paint and the Made You Look detail brush. Like anything else, it's always easiest to look at the logo when recreating it. I'm then going to mix together dark blue paradise paint with black paradise paint to make more of a navy blue. And draw in a little bit more details in the Seahawk as well as any area that's going to be this navy blue. Specifically, this will be the beak as well as the top of the head and also a little bit underneath your eye. Be sure to wash out your brush with water between switching colors. I'm then going to go back in with white paradise paint and fill in any areas that are white on the Seahawk. I'll also be going in with the intense color of pure lightning and tapping over the white using the Made You Look Small Eyeshadow Brush. This will also make your application more even, but it's completely optional. Using a small artist brush, I'm then going to also go in with my navy blue mixture on my lid. For this, I do suggest tapping on a powder. I'm using Intense Hurricane Blue. This will prevent the two colors from mixing on your eyelid during the day. I'm also going to be patting Hurricane Blue underneath my brow to give it a little bit more angry look. After that, I'm filling in all areas that are not filled in with the same light blue that is on my face. I'm then also going over that with the intense color of Morning Sky, and later on we're going to use this to shade our face. Fill in the details of the mouth and beak area using the various colors of Blue Paradise paint. Any area that's not filled in by now, fill it in with the same light blue that's on your face. On to the super easy shading. I'm taking the intense color Morning Sky and I'm shading above my brow bone. Also more towards the center of my face and bringing those lines up to give an angry expression and bringing it down as the wrinkles of my nose. Also blend this color out around your nose and make a loop around your mouth. Once you've shaded this area, go back in with a little bit darker blue. I'm using Hurricane Blue to shade it even darker. For the gums, I'm using the secondary colors of the Seahawk, which is Lime. And I'm basically making several small triangles within my mouth using a fine artist brush. You don't have to bring the gums all all the way back. I'm then doing optional shading using the intense color palm and filling in my teeth with white paradise paint and a fine artist brush. The center of your teeth depending on how cartoony you want to keep it would just be a plain white block and the rest you just have to fill in like regular shaped teeth. For the rest of your mouth, we're going to be filling that in with light blue paradise paint using the Made You Look eyeshadow brush. I'm also going to shade the outer part of this section using dark blue paradise paint and hurricane blue intense color. To define the teeth a little bit, I'm breaking them up using the color palm. side of our face, we're going to start off using Paradise Paint in Orange and the Made You Look Foundation Brush. Paint your whole eye after your face, but leave your eye and mouth area open. You want to leave your mouth area open in the shape of what you're going to make it later. I'm then mixing the other dark blue Paradise Paint with black to make a navy blue. And drawing on the Broncos logo around my eye using a fine artist brush. This logo can be pretty tricky to do around your eye, so it's easiest to look at a photo of the logo when doing this.
I'm keeping the mane underneath my eyebrow to give it a little more angry look, but bringing the end of it up past my eyebrow. Have yourself a little jam session, and back to paint. Very carefully fill in your logo with white paradise paint and a fine artist brush. I'm also switching between paint and the intense color of pure lightning. Adding the eyeshadow on top of the paint is not only going to make it smoother, but also more evenly vibrant. This will also help with setting the paint to prevent cracking around your eyes. Very carefully add the nose and eye, using the same navy blue as the outline. Fill in the mane using the same orange as your face. And also fill in every area that is not colored in by now, other than your mouth, just around the logo. We're going to do some super easy angry shading using the Made You Look eyeshadow brush and also the color Inferno. I'm going to be shading above my eyebrow, closer to the center of my face to give myself an angry expression, a little bit around my nose to give it some wrinkles, and also a loop around my mouth. We're then going to shade with a darker color called Island Breeze in the main. And also shade with this intense pigment within the wrinkles that you've already created. To make these areas pop, I'm also going to define them with dark red paradise paint. Outline your mouth with the same paint. To start on the gums, I'm using the same navy blue mixture and making a bunch of triangles within the mouth area. And filling in my teeth with white paradise paint and a fine artist brush. The center of your teeth, depending on how cartoony you want to keep it, would just be a plain white block and the rest you just have to fill in like regular shaped teeth. of your mouth, I'm using the Made You Look Small eyeshadow brush and orange paradise paint. Then going in on the outer corners using dark red paradise paint and blending with the intense color red earth. You can also add some shading to your teeth using morning sky. 